Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. This time we are going to go over how to create text in 3D. And lucky for us, Maya has provided a really great tool called Create Text. So let's take a look. Let's go to Create. Uh, over here we have a type. And right off the bat, you're going to see the attributes open up on the right. And you can see that we have a type mesh on the left with the outliner. And once I go up here, you'll notice that we already have geometry. Well, I can always type something like create. Maybe it'll be fancier if I make it capital letters. Whatever you like. And uh, now let's have a little fun. So here we have all of the fonts that uh, we can provide. If we wanted to do something pixely, we can. That kind of looks kind of cool. Um, we can also do whichever. Anyway, you know that choosing fonts will take forever. So I'm going to just grab maybe railway and use that. I used to be a graphic designer a long time ago and picking fonts was, there were so many choices, you know, so you can just go crazy. Uh, you can spend a lot of time trying to pick a font. So I'm using Railway Black. It's bold, which is fine. And then if you wanted to change a couple of other things, you could. But let's take a look at the other options. Over here, we have the font size, which is, you know, this is one way of uh, controlling your scale. We have uh, tracking. Now, if you guys know anything about graphic designing, tracking just means that the letters are going to get closer or further away, depending on what type of look you want on your logo, for example. So I might want to bring them a little bit closer. Kerning is the same exact thing, except it's much more dramatic. There we go. So we can play with those two. Uh, leading, if you had more words uh, than just create, you can play with that. And, and then we have width and scale, which is the same story. If you were not happy with uh, the location of these pieces and you wanted to move them, you can click on type manipulation. If you select it, you can actually select one of the words. And if you wanted to, you can actually lift them up, move them around or scale them, whatever you like. So if you wanted to make something a little bit more dramatic, you can mess around with that. I'm going to undo all of that because I actually like it the way it was. Perfect. Okay. Going back to this, turning off uh, type. And if I go into extra attributes, there's really nothing there. Uh, let's see. You can do generators, which like frame number. You can actually go through. And if you wanted to have something go through the frame numbers, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, if you wanted scene time, that's uh, that might be actually very valuable if you're trying to do an animation. Um, we also have random. So that means that they're just going to give you random text, which can be really cool. If you wanted to, um, you know, have like text, random text flying around, animated text, not really sure what that does, but um, I'm going to guess you keyframe it. And then Python, if you wanted to uh, add some Python there. So I'm just going to keep it as that. But if you guys wanted to generate some stuff, you could. Uh, the geometry is basically what the text is going to look like. We have curve resolution. I'm not too worried about the mesh settings. What I really wanted to show you is actually the extrusion. The extrusion is what's giving us, it's going to give us a lot of personality. So for example, if I turn off enable extrusion, you'll see that it's now flat. So if you wanted flat text, this is the perfect way to do it. But I personally like the, uh, the text. So what's cool about this is that you can actually choose different types of curves um, and see what type of extrusion you're going to get. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to move the extrude distance in case you wanted to go ahead and work on that. You can work on the uh, uh, offset, which will give you a little bit of that curve, which is also very interesting. And once you add that extrude offset, you can actually go through these curves and you can see how it impacts the, uh, the text. So it's very, uh, it's kind of, you can get some really nice effects depending on what type of look you're trying to go for. And then I can go back to... Let's see what this one does. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this extrude. It's kind of fun to just play around with it. Um, extrude divisions just means do you want less uh, geometry or do you want more geometry? It depends really how smooth you want your geometry to be. So this is pr looking pretty fun. Another interesting is the enable uh, bevel. You can actually bevel your text. So as you can see, it immediately adds a lot of personality to the text. So uh, I'm going to go back here and maybe reduce the extrude offset or increase it. No, decrease it just a little bit. I was getting worried that I couldn't see the A. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So this is also a lot of fun because you get to have some um, interesting effects with the bevel. So if I wanted to have less of a bevel or more of a bevel, I can control it here. If I wanted to offset the bevel, you can see the effect it has over here as well. 
And of course, how much geometry do you want on your bevel? Do you want a lot? Do you want a little bit? Things like that. So what's fun about the bevel though is the way it reacts. So for example, this is just a regular bevel. Um, you can change the profile so it changes as well. So you can see that it has this really neat effect. And then you can just kind of choose the type of bevels that you, you want. So if you want it more linear, you could choose something like that. If you want it more cubic, you could. Um, you know, the more, the more dramatic these things are, the more geometry you're going to need. But overall, I think I like this one a lot. So very quickly, we can create text and make it look nice. <clears throat> Texturing, uh, right now it's a blend. I also, you know, they use a bunch of stuff uh, automatically, but I actually am going to convert this and use an Arnold AI standard because that's going to be the best way to go. And then finally, we're under animate. I can activate animate and you can animate the character, the word or the line. So it's up to you if you want to use this. Um, I personally like to just animate this on my own with just a regular keyframe, but uh, you can also, you know, you can rotate the words individually if you like. You can scale them if you like. You can rotate them. So if you wanted to make them dance, you can. And, uh, and you can also keyframe it. So let's go ahead and do a keyframe here. And then let's say in frame 15, we can set the keyframe here and then we can see the effect. Oh, how interesting, it's only one of them. Let's see if I can select all of them. Hit key. Set key. And then it's got this little um, offset. So it's a little bit of like a fun thing that you could do with uh, your, in this case, it's just your character. So that's a fun way to animate your, te your text if you wanted to. <clears throat> Let's see what happens when we reverse the order. There you go. You can just reverse it the other way. So there's a lot of control you can do here. And imagine creating something like this and uh, having your characters or anything around. And this is just a really great way of doing uh, almost like motion graphics. Um, let's go ahead and assign a new material. Right click, assign a new material. Of course, I always use AI standard surface. Uh, maybe I'll choose, hmm, there's up here at the top right, there's presets. Maybe I'll choose, well, let's see what it looks like first. Put a ground plane. this back and Arnold lights physical sky and that's going to give us something to render some light a light source that's what it looks like right now at default and then let's see let's go back into here go to the right until we find ooh, plenty of groups AI standard surface here and let's see let's go to presets again and let's see maybe something fun like let's see what happens when we do clear water Eh, can't barely see it. Uh, maybe we'll do jade. Jade is always very pretty. And let's see. And if you guys wanted to, you can select the faces. Assign a new material. Again, I'm going to use the regular AI standard surface. And this time I'm going to use gold. And let's see if that looks any good. Oh, where'd you go? There you go. So now we've got like this gold text with a, with a jade on the outside of it. If you guys don't want to see this dome back here, but still keep the reflections and things like that, just select the dome, scroll down, go to camera and turn this off. That means that you're, it's still going to render with the Shading is just that the background is going to be, uh, it's not going to render the background. And it also removes the alpha channel, which is great. That means you can composite any background that you want. All right. That was a, a quick tutorial on how to create text using, ooh, let me get a nicer angle. Let's see if I can get a better angle. I wonder if I can hide the ground, would that look better? Nope, that looks terrible. Okay, I'm bringing it back. All right, so that was a quick tutorial on how to create uh, text. 
It's a very powerful, it's a fantastic tool. Not only can you create the text, you can change the font, you can change the kerning, you can um, animate it, and of course change the bevel and the extrude. So it gives you a lot of control. And of course it's polygon, so that means that if you wanna push it even further, you can. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com for tutorials, free eBooks, and free downloads and so much more. So check out academicphoenixplus.com. And don't forget to subscribe and share if you find this tutorial to be helpful and you think somebody might uh, appreciate it, please share. That would really be wonderful and I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you again for all of your support and I will see you next time.